What's up, YouTube? Got my new governor um, for my 20 horsepower Briggs. Check it out. The weight, the counterweights are different than the originals. So I'm thinking it's a different design. One thing I noticed is this f little foot right here. Nice and rounded. Versus this one, which was flattened, but oh, you can't even see that. But I think it was actually flattened over years and years and years of going up and down. So hopefully we have improvements here. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. We'll see. All right, another difference is the washer. This is the original washer, which is completely flat. Okay, and this is the replacement washer, which is flat but it has a tab on it. So there is a difference. I'm not sure which way it goes. I can only assume it goes that way. Uh, I'll put it together and then look at maybe some diagrams but seems about right to me we'll see I have a new theory on how this governor broke I really think this foot right here actually wore down see how it's all curled over I think it actually wore down to the point where it didn't allow for this to lock. This locks into place. And the reason why it locks into place is because as you can see right here, it catches up on this lip. So the foot opens it, but this right here keeps it from flying off. And I think that's what happened. See, I clean up the entire inside of the engine, and everything looks pretty good. There's some stuff in there, I'll wipe it down, but <clears throat> we'll see. Hopefully, I can get this back together tonight, and then maybe later this week, I'll be able to get it, get it running. Okay, the governor is on, and that's the only way it works is to put the thimble in between the, the counterweight arms so hopefully this works I looked at a diagram this is exactly what it looks like so we'll see maybe I'll post this video before I get it running alright the crankcase covers back on and I even switched the exhaust around. It was out this way. No, it was out. It was out this way. Now it's out this way. I might uh, cut it right here, and then see if I can weld like a exhaust tip onto it that goes under the floor pans. Anyway, I have one question. What do I torque these two? If you know, let me know. Hopefully I get this thing back on tomorrow night, get it running, we'll be good to go.